Lock schedules are a powerful feature that allow you to affect the behavior of your lock during certain times of the day. To set a lock schedule, go to Lock Management, then select Lock Schedule. Notice there are 16 possible lock schedules. The first two, No Limit Classroom Mode and No Limit Storehouse Mode, cannot be altered. To create a schedule, highlight a schedule name, like Lock Status 3, and click the Add button to create the first lock status. There are four possible modes that can be set in a lock schedule. Storehouse Mode will cause the lock to re-lock a short time after it is unlocked. Classroom Mode will leave the door unlocked after a valid user code is used to open the door. Lock Mode will automatically lock the door at a specific time. And Unlock Mode will automatically unlock the door at a specific time. In this example schedule that might be used for a business, we'll set the first entry to put the lock into Classroom Mode at 8 a.m. Monday through Friday. This way, the first employee to enter their code will unlock the door and it will remain unlocked during the day. Then at 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, we'll set the lock to storehouse mode. This way, after 5 o'clock, users will have to enter their code to regain access and the door will re-lock behind them. Finally, we'll also set the door to automatically lock at 5 o'clock Monday through Friday to ensure the door is locked after business hours. The lock will remain in this status over the weekend until Monday at 8 a.m. when it will change to classroom mode and the schedule will repeat again. When finished with the schedule, exit out of the lock schedule screen. Next, we'll have to apply this schedule to our lock. Go to Lock Management, then select Lock Settings. Highlight the lock you wish to apply the schedule to, then click Modify. Click in the Lock Status field to bring up the lock schedule window. Click on the desired schedule and press Select. Then click Save to apply the schedule to the lock. Finally, we need to send this new information over to the lock. To do this, go to Single Lock Programming. Ensure the correct lock is selected in lock name. Also ensure that all users are selected that you want to have access to the lock. Click the Issue Key button. The new lock schedule will be sent when we issue this key. Unplug the I button from the one wire, then touch it to the lock reader to update.